Hello and welcome to this week's special fashionized entertainment segment for Around and About Orange County News. I'm Alicia Rodriguez and accompanying me are the fashionistas. Let's start. Is hipster really hipster? The definition of a hipster, according to Urban Dictionary, is someone who culturally rejects the attitudes of mainstream consumers. However, there is a new definition, or should I say term, known as mainstream hipster, which is someone who is defined as wearing plaid and skinny jeans. So what truly is a hipster? Our very own Roxana Cortez takes us out to investigate. What do you think a hipster is? <laughs> I would say a hipster is someone who dresses in like the khaki pants and the suspenders and um, button ups, but the best kind of hipster is the ones that don't know that they're a hipster. <laughs> the ones that like everybody else dubs as one, but they're just living their life doing the things that they like. What is a hipster? <laughs> I think a hipster is a relative term and depends on what the viewer is. Mm -hmm. It's pretty subjective. I mean, if you asked a hipster what a hipster was, he would say, that's just me. Thanks, Roxana, for clearing up that definition. Now, our very own fashionista, Katie Frank, is going to show us the do's and don'ts of fashion. Thank you, Alicia, for that lovely introduction. This is Katie Frank with Frankly Speaking Fashion. I have my lovely co-host here, and we're going to give you the do's and don'ts of fashion. So let's get started. Here we have a fashion don't. With the top, try and stay away from anything that your eight-year-old self would deem really cool, especially Hello Kitty. The fanny pack, on the other hand, is just a little too gaudy for my taste, especially when more natural purses are in style. This is a fashion do. This hat completes the ensemble by giving it a good throwback to the Audrey Hepburn days. The crocheting patterns are always perfect for fall and winter season. And the skirt, a neutral foundation for the outfit. This is a fashion don't. Although colors are in this season, leave the quilting to your grandma. That was my fashion segment. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Back to Lisi in the studio. Thanks, Katie, but I might recommend a plastic surgeon for your lovely assistant. Now, our very own Yvonne Ortega is going to take us to Westfield Mall to see some eccentric pieces inspired by Hispanic culture. Thalia, one of the most beloved divas among the world of entertainment, better known for her leading roles in Mexican soap operas and her singing talent as a Latin pop star in Mexico, as well as in other countries such as the United States. Throughout her professional career, Thalia has not only inspired the world with her great talent, but also with her beauty and taste in fashion. That is why Macy's and Latin magazine Vanidades united to bring together a fashion show in which they selected Thalia as their fashion icon during the Hispanic Heritage Month. From California to New York, selective Macy's opened their doors to the public and introduced to them all the new fashion trends for the season. Through a runway show in which various outfits were being modeled by women of different sizes. We have Alicia Antiveros who share her experience with us. My family and I really enjoyed the show and loved the different types of style, not to mention the 15% off. Wind of Fox fashion correspondents Angel Gonzalez and Ariana Cabral made sure that the event turned out to be spectacular. Both fashionistas conducted the runway show as the models were walking and Joe and Ariana took turns on describing what each model was wearing and how each piece was inspired by Thalia. After the show, Ariana and Angel took the time to give fashion advice to those who want to improve their style. Ariana explained to us her thoughts on the world of fashion. With it, and I know that there really isn't a lot out there. Like, of course, if we turn on Channel 11, any other magazine in English, the content is there. But I feel like we need a voice that represents that Latina, Hispanic woman, especially when it comes to fashion. I know it's nothing like you're not saving the world or anything like that, but it's important to kind of have our women feel proud and important and feel beautiful. And there isn't still a lot of saturation in the Hispanic market with that. So I feel so proud and happy. So I love knowing that I am Hispanic and knowing that we're being celebrated. It just feels great because we contribute a lot, not only, you know, in whatever we do, but our stars and we have a lot to offer. So it's good to be celebrated. 
in Macy's at Santa Ana for Around and About Orange County News. I'm Yvonne Ortega. Thanks, Yvonne, for that lovely insight. Wish they paid me here to spend some money. Now our very own Kimberly O'Neill is going to take us to an exclusive interview with fashionista Kimberly Liu. Thanks, Alicia. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our new fashion segment called What's New in Fashion. My name is Kimberly O'Neill. My guest today is an upcoming Orange County designer and blogger. She got her AA degree from Santa Ana College in fashion merchandising. Please welcome, according to Kimberly, Kimberly Liu. Welcome, Kimberly. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> Let's get started. So the first designer we're going to be discussing is Ralph Lauren. So I was noticing that he's using a lot of black and white, and he used a lot of stripe, a lot of checkered, and floral print. And I really don't know what he was thinking with that. It was just, it looked way too cheap. He had some plastic going on, and I don't know. Towards uh, the end of the, the show, end, yeah. he okay. used a lot of color. Mm -hmm. You could see a lot of bold, bright colors. And there was some pieces that I absolutely loved. There was this red the, cape dress. The finale dress or something yes. like that? Yes, that one was really, really beautiful. It was very clean and simple and just like showed off like the woman's body in an elegant way. Now we're gonna talk about Oscar De Laurentiis fashion show, which I have to say that I fell absolutely in love with it. He, Oscar De Laurentiis never disappoints. He always comes out with something creative and beautiful. Um, I, every time I just see one of his evening gowns, it's just like, oh, your heart just melts and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. So what do you think we should stay away from? Oh, definitely those 70 pants. Oh my gosh. Um, they came from the 70s. Let's leave them in the 70s. <laughs> what do you think should be the must have? I would have to say there was tailor jackets. I think tailor jackets can go with anyone. Um, you find the right one, the right fit. Um, with a good quality, you can keep it for years and it would be a good investment. So um, thank you guys for having the opportunity to see our new segment on fashion. I hope you enjoyed it. And please check out accordingtokimberly.com. Thanks again, bye. Thanks, Kim. And on behalf of the fashionistas and I, thank you for tuning in on this week's special fashionized edition of entertainment. Now off to Philip Mango with the sports. Whoa!